Now this is a short clip just introducing you to nets, uh, what they are and how they can be used to make 3D shapes. So a net is well, really a, just a two-dimensional sort of plan of a 3D shape, uh, which can be then folded up and makes to create the 3D shape. It can be drawn on paper and then cut out and folded to create the shape here using the polydron um, clip, uh, polydron framework uh, pieces. Uh, so here we have a, a triangular based pyramid net. So, and all I need to do is I just need to fold the pieces together and there we go. I have a triangular based pyramid. Pull them apart again and fold them and I get, if I don't break it apart, I get my triangular base pyramid net. Now, you can have a variety of nets. This is the net for um, a triangular prism. Uh, so if I fold this up, this will also create me a, a 3D shape. As I said, this time creating a triangular prism. Now with prisms, there are certain rules that it has to be if it wants to be a prism. Uh, so with the prism, uh, we have this base, the front base, and then the back base are well, exactly the same shape. If it's a regular prism, all the sides and the angles will be the same size. If it's a regular, the sides will be different sizes, uh, sorry, the sides will be different sizes and the angles will vary as well. So the two bases, the front base and the back base, need to be the same. All the other faces need to be parallelograms. So that means uh, that these two sides are running parallel and these two sides are running parallel. And you can see that is true for the other sides of this uh, prism. Now it needs to, you need to know that all shapes uh, can be made from a co different nets. Uh, like there's not a limitless supply. There's a cube can be made out of eight different shaped nets, and this is one of them. Now, as you can see, this one looks a little bit like uh, a staircase. But if I fold this up, it will turn into a cube for me. Now, with uh, nets. You know, some of them look quite deceiving. At first, I was looking at this net and going, oh yeah, I'm not sure if that will turn into a cube, but then once I did it, as you can see there, a nice cube. Here though is another net for a cube. This one, as you can see, that last one was a bit like a staircase. This one, more like an S shape. But if I fold this up, once again, it is gonna give me a nice cube. Uh, 3D cube shape. So as you can see, a net two-dimensional two plan, and then you fold it up, and it creates a nice 3 d shape for you. Once again, another net for a cube. This one, more of a cross shape. But again, if I fold this up, it is going to become a cube. So the basic premise is that a net, when folded, will turn into a 3D shape. Now, obviously you're going to practice this yourself, but it is quite simple to see that there's a combination. So those three cubes just made out of three different nets. But as I said, for a cube, you can actually, there's eight different nets, so it might be interesting to see if you can find some of those uh, yourselves.